G'day, I'm Hannah Maloney from Good Life Permaculture coming to you from Nipaluna Lichawita in Hobart, Tasmania. Today I'm going to show you around all our edible flowers that are currently blooming. We're in spring here at the moment and it's really colourful and it's really edible and tasty. So let me show you around. This beautiful blue kind of cluster of plants behind me is called borage and borage is quite a prickly uh, stem and leaf, not, not too bad, but a bit scratchy. And then it has this gorgeous, um, delicate blue purple flower. And I have seen them in a bit pinky color as well. And you can eat the whole thing like so. Mm. It's got like a faint, it reminds me of like watermelon, I think. But, you know, the idea is that these are just a gorgeous way to add splashes of colour into your everyday meal. And it's a little bit special. <laughs> so what's happening now? Mm. I was just munching on some calendula petals. And calendula is this really vigorous self-seeding annual. But we could treat it like a perennial here because it would just um, uh, turn up across our landscape, which I love. And it comes in vibrant yellows, oranges and uh, variations of those colours in between. Um, the, it's a lovely uh, little understory plant which runs through our orchards and food forests and along the edge of garden beds as well. Uh, and we just rip the, uh, the petals off and put it into any uh, salads that we're having. So I'm just in the veggie patch now. We're growing some broad beans here. And of course we grow them for the beans, but we can actually eat some of the flowers as well, which are deliciously tasty in the salads. Um, and of course, the more flowers you pick, the less beans you'll get. So be mindful not to go too crazy on the flower eating. But you can definitely just take a few off here and there on each plant. Um, oh, it's so delicate and quite sweet, actually. Mm, it's a very good addition to the flower salad palette. <laughs> Next up, we've got a bit of wild mustard, which is self-sown amongst our food forest bank. Um, and this one's a brassica. And, and we usually just pull most of it out because it can get a bit weedy, but not in a not in a really invasive, makes you cry way, just in a, an annoying way. <laughs> uh, look, at it, look, the delightful splash of colour. Um, yeah, kind of they taste kind of like a faint taste of broccoli, but not in a weird, overpowering way. So don't just can relax. Yeah. Next up on the flower tour is this beautiful little wild pansy, which is called Heartsease. And I'm a real fan of this one. It just pops up all through our veggie patch. And I just leave a few little bushes here and there for just mostly because I think they're really beautiful. <laughs> but you can, of course, add them to your salads as well. And um, on top of cakes as decoration, all of these can be on top of cake for decorations, but they're just so delicate and delightful. Um, and yeah, self seed so prolifically, which is a really gorgeous thing. Actually, if you come over here to the carrot patch, you'll see that's a little baby plant there that's just self sown. So often I'll just pull them out because they're in the really awkward spots, but sometimes I try to transplant them as well, which is really nice. But I love things that are so uh, prolific that um, you can just have that abundance. It's so, so good. Mm. And it's so great when it's edible <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> I'm in a little nasturtium forest here. The gorgeous rambling plants that cascade down all our slopes, which we love. And nasturtiums are one of my favorite plants. You can eat the leaf, the flower, obviously, and also the seed pod. You can pickle them as capers and they're beautiful. Like what's more to love, really? <laughs> what's not to love? Um, the flowers are fun because you can also snap the little bums off and suck the sweet nectar out which is fun for kids and adults. <laughs> but they're such a standard staple in our diet. Um, they look good. They're really peppery, actually. These are the strongest tasting flower I've taken you through today. They, they pack a punch, so not for the faint-hearted. <laughs> the biggest flower that we grow for eating is the globe artichoke flower, which you actually eat when it's in the bud formation. When it's in full flower, it opens up and has these gorgeous, bright purple little soft prickles in the middle. But you pick it around now and you boil it for around, I don't know, 20 minutes. 
um, and then you eat each petal you have a little dipping sauce but it's like a it's just delicious of course you can pickle them as well all the things so this one isn't going to be going in the salad but I'll cook some up and eat them separately so I'll have cooked flowers and fresh flowers for a little feast a flower feast <laughs> Now there's also a whole bunch of flowering plants in our garden which we don't necessarily eat but we always um, visit to get a little sweet nectar from. So this one's the pineapple sage and the actual flower doesn't taste great, I have tried. <laughs> but you just gently pull that off and that little white bit, mmm, so sweet. Mm. I do, I just nibble that little white bit as well, delicious. But if you go much further, right oh, there, that red bit not good. <laughs> So I've got my beautiful flower feast here. I've got my gorgeous fresh salad on this side and then over here I've cooked some globe artichokes and these ones have cooled down now which is still so delicious. Um, and to eat them you just peel off each little petal. I've taken off that harder exterior shell already and you just dip them into a little dipping sauce and away you go. Mm. A bit of stuff for your compost bin. But um, the dipping sauce can be anything you like. I've got like a yogurt tahini, olive oil, lemon juice salt thing on the go over here it's delicious but whatever takes your fancy and of course over here you can put um, more salad dressing on as well whatever you like really but it's just delicious check this out <laughs> fork full of flowers mmm mmm it's good I'm, I'm getting the oh the broad bins are coming through followed by the mustard Oh, I'm finishing up with the borage. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs>